Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I, um, sorry, I got a cold earlier this week or was it last week? I don't know, but I'm kind of like recovering from it. So if I sound a little nasally, that's why. And then it probably won't really look different to you guys, but I did forget my little like tripod. So yeah, I'm just like putting this on the chair. So hopefully it's not distracting or anything, but Today, I am going to be doing another book-related video, specifically about The Cross Country Quilters by Jennifer Chivarini, and I'm going to be ranking the friendships in that book. You guys probably know if you watch my book-related videos that I, like, really like the Elm Creek Quilt series, and I actually recently reread The Cross Country Quilters, so that's why I want to do this now. Um, as an overview, the whole series is basically about um, this, well, okay, so the main character in the book is Sylvia. Some of the books explore just like her um, background as well as her family, and she has this like historic kind of mansion. Long story short, um, she starts using this mansion for um, quilt camp and so the cross country quilters is about a group of friends at this quilt camp some of them meet at the quilt camp for the first time and so it's just talking about their friendship and also their lives at home and of course um, the quilting you know comes together it ties into all of that but I'm not really here to give like much of a summary so if you haven't read the book hopefully this will still be enjoyable to you but it's more so if you've like read this book and some of the series. So like I said, I will be ranking friendships. First, I will name all of the um, people in this group for the Cross Country Quilters. They're all friends. So we have Donna, Grace, Megan, Vinny, and Julia. And so I'll kind of go through, will I go through each character? No, I'll just tell you guys what I'm ranking the friendships and then I'll explain the characters as I continue. Okay, so starting at the bottom, this is going in order. This is not to say that um, the like friendships in general aren't good. I think that they're all great. I'm just ranking it, you know, um, from good to the best, so to speak. So in fourth place, we have Vinny and Megan. Um, I'll try not to give like spoilers with this, but some might come out. So Vinny is a um, older woman. She's like in her 70s, I want to say. And she comes to the quilt camp every year to celebrate her birthday. Some of her backstory, I believe the reason that she started doing this um, was... Like, it happened after her husband passed away. She has a very, very, like, interesting story in and of itself, which is beautiful. Um, and then Megan, on the other hand, so Megan is basically a single mom. So her and her husband got divorced, and then she has one child whose name is Robbie. And so Vinny and Megan, they meet through this quilt camp, but also Vinny has a grandson and she wants to try to pair up her grandson with Megan. So that's kind of their story. <clears throat> their friendship is, you know, really cool. Obviously there's an age gap, which doesn't like really matter, but... I feel like really a lot of their relationship is mainly just Vinny trying to get like the two of them together. There's not too much of them just like talking on their own. So um, that's why I kind of put them at the bottom. They still have a good friendship, but there's not really much to it where they're communicating a lot. So then in third place, we have Donna and Megan. Now Donna and Megan, they are internet friends. So they're both internet friends and they both bond over quilting so they send emails to each other they're kind of like in a um i wonder i feel like they use like a form page or something but 
that's literally like how they got connected was through the internet and then they meet for the first time at this quilt camp obviously great friendship um it's a cool dynamic donna is a mother of i want to say she has like two or three kids and she has a big storyline with um, her daughter because she doesn't really approve of or she just feels kind of like uncertain about the man that her daughter is dating and you'll see more of that um donna's kind of characteristics like i said she is a mother she is kind of like concerned about her weight in this and then um just like little quirks like i think she has a lot of what they call ufos so like quilts that she hasn't finished and so she has a cute personality like i like all of the personalities of these characters and you would think that i would rank them like a little bit higher because they're the ones that like started off as friends and then they meet at this quilt camp but um yeah i guess they're lower than the other ones because i feel like they're the scenes i guess that they do have together they're cool but they don't have like as much of a spin or twist as the other ones that I'm going to talk about and there's nothing super like memorable to me within their friendship. I think the strength really comes from all of these girls gathering together because again they're all friends but yeah so nothing like super um, memorable or anything that stands out to me with them. In second place and this is out of four by the way in second place, we have Grace and Sylvia. Now, you may have heard me talk on another video. I love Grace. Like, she's one of my favorite characters. Actually, um, Megan is also a favorite character of mine. I just really like her storyline, but I really love Grace. I love her storyline. Grace is um, African-American, and she, she has a whole, like, backstory. She's also kind of a so to speak like famous quilter so she'll do like um more historical quilts so she'll use her quilts to like talk about slavery like all kinds of things like that um and then she also has a health condition which we learn more about in that book so i won't spoil it but yeah i really really like love her character so like I said, Grace and Sylvia. Sylvia, again, she is the main character for this book. Um, they're both kind of, I want to say like similar in age and I just like enjoy them, like seeing them um, talk together. I remember when I first read the book, I didn't, because I read the Cross Country Quilters first, so I didn't even realize that Sylvia was the main character. But now after reading like a lot of the other books, I feel like that's why they're kind of high up because I also see them have conversations in Runaway Quilt. And so they just have this great dynamic. Both Sylvia and Grace are amazing quilters. So Sylvia is also very well known for her quilting. And so you have like that cool dynamic where they both obviously bond over quilting like all the characters bond over quilting, but you know what I mean? They bond over the level of expertise of their quilting. And then there was a scene in the book where Grace, because she has this health condition, she hasn't told any of her friends, only her family members know. And so she's kind of just like staying in her room even while she's at this quilt camp. And so then like Sylvia came to check on her and she was like, you know, yeah, I'm just going to stay here for now. And then Sylvia is like walking out and as she's walking out, she calls her a party pooper. And then Grace was like, what did you just call me? And basically was like, oh, I'm going to show you like I'm not a party pooper. And then that's basically how Sylvia got Grace to come down and join the, web the rest of the friends. And I just love that little interaction because it shows how in their friendship, like Sylvia knows Grace and she knows what, what kind of like get her to um get into like a different headspace so to speak and then even um later on when she does find out when Sylvia finds out about Grace's condition it's like 
she's able to give her that like kind of advice and even the way that she responds to it is not like this super surprising thing or something where she's just like oh my gosh I'm so sorry like she's able to really talk to her in a calm way that I think helps Grace at the end of the day so I would say that their friendship is like very very strong I love the whole dynamic they could even be rated first but I will tell you guys what my personal uh you know rating is for the person in first place and that is Donna and Julia now before I get into um a little bit more about their dynamics I want to say that the reason that I'm placing them first is I'm basing it off of this one book right the cross-country quilters um I I didn't really cheat but for lack of better words cheated a little bit with um Grace and Sylvia because I was able to kind of recall other instances that they had in Runaway Quilt which made the relationship a little bit stronger but even that aside I would just say their dynamic the storyline and everything made their friendship seem much stronger. Similar to this I think that Donna and Julia their friendship is just very interesting like it's a very interesting storyline and I think it is strong like they kind of just have a natural bond. So Julia is a actress. Um, she comes to this quilt camp because she's landed this new role in the movie where she needs to learn quilting and she needs to learn it fast. And so she ends up getting help from Donna. Donna is a fan of hers. Like she's watched the shows that she's been in. So she's kind of like starstruck. And I love that dynamic where your fan becomes like your close friend or your best friend. So I just think that whole storyline is awesome. And um, I also think that Julia's character just kind of adds something, you know, different to it. They just have this great like natural bond. Whereas with Donna and Megan, they might have a natural bond too, but it's not really shown as much in the book. So yeah, Donna and Julia for the win. Great dynamic. It was fun to read about them. Donna is like helping her, you know, figure out her quilting and also helping her with the role that she has in the movie um they even like they spent a lot of time together one-on-one -on -one, so it was just really cool and those are my ratings so first place Donna and Julia second place Grace and Sylvia third place Donna and Megan and in last place is Vinny and Megan I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like the Elm Creek quilt series let me know she came out with a new book or there's going to be like a new release for the Elm Creek quilt series. I'm literally so excited. I even entered a giveaway because I just I'm just hoping to get that book. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.